This video is going to be a patron's pick if you're interested in voting in the next one, and one every month, head on over to the Patreon at any tier today. Horror, Kaiju, Dragon Ball, and more, Steven's Toy Reviews. In the hills of Appalachia, or just maybe that back town that you maybe don't go to that often, have you ever looked over to the side of the road? Maybe you've seen some lights reflecting, maybe you've seen a very eerie light somewhere off in the woods. Maybe you've seen a man standing on the side of the road, but once you get a little closer, you're not quite sure what you're seeing. You see this odd, bulbous-shaped head, these two haunched-up wings? It's a man? No. It's Mothman! Hey there, Collector Steven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something relatively interesting from the folks over at Marmot. So today we're going to be taking a look at the glow-in-the-dark Mothman. Unfortunately, I don't have a vanilla, if you will, Mothman here for a comparison, but don't worry, one should be shipping soon, because Marmot just did another run of the Mothman figure, one more so accurate? How can a Mothman be accurate? Anyway, uh, but they did also put up this glow-in-the-dark variant, which was very quick to sell out and cost a little bit more. And think in total to get it out of Japan, it was somewhere around 11,000 yen. So with that being said, the Mothman figure is rather old, but this is the first time, to my understanding, that it has been done in glow-in-the-dark colors. So, yes, this will be a review for Mothman, and will also be a review for this specific one. So without any further ado, let's take a look to see whether or not this very rare cryptid is going to be worth adding into your collection. Okay, so first and foremost, when it comes to glow-in-the-dark stuff, most particularly here, unfortunately, some of the sculpted details, well, they're going to be lost. The reason being is that, well, as you can clearly see here, Mothman is very, very brightly colored. And because of that, the finer details are not able to really be appreciated from a good distance away. Let's say, you know, you're five, ten feet away. Eh, you know what Mothman looks like, but unfortunately, the fuzzy sculpt, which we will get a close look at, um, you're not really going to be able to give it as, I don't know, give it as much attention and as appreciation as you should in person. However, what I will say is that the paint scheme for Mothman is really, really good. I actually think it's pretty interesting because I like to look at this one as if Predator was taking a look at this one. Jungle, City Hunter, whatever the case may be. Because that's what this really does remind me of. We have some fantastic reds greens, even some yellows blended in all together to really give this glow-in-the-dark figure an awesome, awesome feel to it. And likewise, as I said, up close and personal, you can definitely see that the sculpt for Mothman is really kept intact here, especially around the eyes. That just looks really freaky. So like I did say, this is an older figure, so however many times the company Marmot collectively put this through uh, for production, we will see some mold degradation here and there, maybe some areas that should be super duper fuzzy. Maybe they smooth out a little bit over time, but Overall, Mothman does look rather good. The only downside is going to be the eye paint application. As you can see on this particular unit, it does not fit in wholly where the eye is sculpted. And also there's a little bit of chipping and it looked that way straight out of the bag. Now, of course, this is going to be a glow in the dark figure. So we got to go ahead and show you how that looks. And I do have to say, make no mistake in the intro section with Ash there. I did some camera trickery, especially with some laser pointers and long exposure times. But here, aside from cleaning up some dead pixels, the only thing you are seeing here is an appropriate 30 second exposure time for a glow in the dark figure. That's pretty much my standard. Yes, Mothman is this bright. It is insane how much glow in the dark they were able to pack in to this figure. So if you love glow in the dark stuff, or if you're kind of hesitant on that, you're kind of like, eh, you know, glowy stuff isn't really my jam. No, trust me, this is bright. And this is probably going to be the only exception if you are against glowy stuff that you may want to make. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead on over to articulation, where, as you can kind of see, it's rather short, sweet, and to the point. There isn't a lot going on here, but this is very important. If you were to keep Mothman in a vanilla where all of the sculpt is sort of straight, even, and as it should be, pose, unfortunately, we do have some leaning issues. So you're going to have to use the hip swivels to position Mothman just a little bit forward leaning, so this way he's not going to be tipping over. There is also going to be a waist swivel. The wings are separate pieces that attach into the body, and they do kind of wiggle around, but they're not actually articulated, just something to keep in mind. I know we're kind of going fast here, but there's not a whole lot more else to talk about. So let's actually take a look at the header card that is included because there's no box. There's no tag for this figure. It's just in a bag and a header card. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward, rather normal marmot 
design here. Nothing specific for Mothman, but it is what it is. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a size comparison so you can see how big the Mothman figure is going to be alongside some other stuff you just might have. So, if you are collecting horror figures, there is a good chance you're going to have a lot of NECA's offerings, and guess what? It's going to blend in just fine there. If you have some other stylized kaiju, this will look great, and likewise, for the 6-inch scale stuff, it's going to be a bit too big, but... It's Mothman. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Like I said, uh, I think this is pretty much going to be an exception for folks who don't like glow in the dark stuff. This is a really, really cool looking figure, and I think that this just it, it, it's awesome. I mean, what else can I say? except for it's expensive. So aside from a couple of small things here and there that are not that great with it, like I would say for the eyes, which is a huge bummer for me, I think this is a great figure. I think it is great to have on the shelf. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to the color accurate, if you will, Mothman that should be shipping from Japan soon. Like I said, Marmot just did a restock of not only that one, but also this one. Like I said, uh, this one is unfortunately already out of stock. So yeah, and they just did another run of the accurate Mothman. So a review of that will be up. But suffice to say, the glow in the dark Mothman figure, it is expensive, even more so than the normal figure. But if you are a fan, then you will not by any stretch of the imagination be disappointed. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up, thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media, or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.